Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon everybody in Kalani. I hope you're doing well today. Hope you're having a fine day. Um, guys, we've just come out today to bring the gospel of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, to bring you the good news, and also to bring a word of warning as well. So, um, yeah, I'll just to give a little bit of um, a small testimony on, on myself. It's basically, my, my name is Dominic, I'm from the East Midlands of England, and uh, I got saved by Jesus back in uh, Mar March of 2018. I got baptised and born again. Basically, to make a very long story short, I was in a very bad place in my life. Um, all, all kinds of um, demons uh, plaguing me, drug abuse, alcohol abuse, depression, all, all kinds of stuff like that. So basically, one night I went down on my knees and I repented for my sins. And basically, that night I, I had an encounter with, with the living God himself. And basically, I, I completely repented for my sins, got baptised and born again. And I've been walking with the Lord since, and this was about four and a half years ago, in March of 2018. So we, we come out on the streets today to bring you the gospel and give you also a chance to hear it. And something which really, really, uh, when I got born again, you know, the, the power of the gospel, the power of uh, the name in Jesus Christ, really came alive in, inside of me, you know. When, when the living God, when he presented himself to me, um, from, from 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 his own power, from his own doing, by the power of the Holy Spirit, you know, I had the revelation, I had the revelation directly from God, and for the first time ever, I really, really knew that yes, Jesus Christ was the Son of God. Yes, He died for our sins on the cross, so that we can be we can be reconciled and have a relationship with Him. And uh, so, uh, one thing the Lord has, has done is is kind of equipped me to go out onto the streets and to you know testify to you and bring the gospel and give you a chance to also hear. So I don't know if you know, I'm sure, I'm sure you've noticed um, the, 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 the state of the current world, not to bring doom and gloom, but we can only look around us to see what's happening. We, we are living in the end times, you know, and we are expecting the return of Jesus Christ, it could be any moment, um, the, the rapture of the, of the church where Jesus comes and takes all of the, the Holy Spirit filled believers into heaven, and then the seven years tribulation will start. You know, so I just want to give you a heads up on that, you know, that things, things in this world in terms of our physical existence, you know, if, if we don't know Jesus, things will only continue to get worse, you know, because this world is full of sin. Sin is the problem in this world, sin and death. And that happened because of what happened in, in, in the Garden of Eden. When Adam and Eve deliberately disobeyed God, that was the day that, that, that basically a curse came upon mankind. And since then, sin and death have been rampant. And what it's done is it's caused separation between us and God. You see, we were always meant to be in, in fellowship and friendship with God. That was one of the reasons he created us, is to, is to worship him, is to walk with him, was to fellowship with him, have, have a friendship with him. You know, we were never meant to be just walking around as, as mindless drones, just led away by every... Um, lust and, and pleasure and desire of the physical senses you know literally our minds and hearts and, and our eyes have, have been taken captive by a very real enemy you know we we have a real enemy guys there's a spiritual war going on around us between the powers of good and the powers of evil god's kingdom and satan's kingdom satan and his fallen angels working behind the scenes to bring you down to the pit of hell which they know where, where they're going if you read in the bible Hell was never even made for us. It was made for Satan and his fallen angels because they rebelled against God. But what Satan is trying to do is he's trying to take you with him. He wants to take your, your eternal soul with him. You know, so please guys, don't let that happen. You know, make, make a decision for Jesus today. You know, I, I, say this, I say this very often, but this is not about religion. This is not about becoming a religious person. This is about coming into relationship with Jesus. Coming to know Him personally. You know, be, being born again is that you are born uh, directly of the Holy Spirit. It's not a matter of just becoming a Catholic or a Protestant or a religious person. That is not a relationship with Jesus. That is just being religious. You know, th this does not come by the will of man. This comes by the Holy Spirit Himself, you know, and it starts with repentance. 
We have to come to God. We have to humble ourselves. We have to confess that we're a sinner. Confess that we cannot save ourselves. We cannot take on an enemy like this ourselves in our physical power. We need the living God on our side. We need the, the creator and the ruler of this universe on our side. That's the only way we can be saved. And it starts with repentance. You know, this, this is what happened to me. I, I, I came to a point where I was completely broken, completely separated from God, just absolutely in, in an extreme dark place. And, I, and I'd come to the conclusion, well, do you know what? I need somebody to save me. I need somebody to save me. I knew I could not save myself. There was no chance. I was so separated from God. So I had to humble myself, go down on my knees and repent and ask Jesus to come into my life. And if you, if you uh, repent and call upon his name in sincerity and search, search him with all your heart, all your mind, all your strength, he will come to you. He will come to you. You know, this, I know, I know now many, many, many people who have had similar um, encounters such as myself. Even if you go on YouTube, you'll see testimony upon testimony of people who have been who are having these encounters with Jesus Christ, having these encounters with the Holy Spirit, with the Living God, you know, and that He's, he's saving them, you know, from every single diff, uh, different walk of life: Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, um, even Satanists, murderers, carjackers, home invaders. Whoever, the, the average man in the street, the bakers, the builders, the pharmacy, the pharmacists, anybody. This is happening to people all over the world. Because Jesus is calling out to the whole world. Because we're living in the end times and he could come back at any moment. You know, um, literally, so, so repentance, guys, is absolutely the key. And God requires that every man repent. You see, we, we cannot get into heaven by our own righteousness. There's nothing we can do to earn our way into heaven. That, again, that's just being religious. It's about relationship, coming to know him, allowing Jesus to have full access into your life, submission and surrender every day, repentance every day, you know, and, and humbling yourself before God and um, co coming to know him personally. You know, so... And also as well, the, the importance of forgiveness. Forgiving every single person that ever hurt you. You know, no matter how bad that betrayal was, no matter how bad that hurt was, you know, finding it in your heart to forgive them. It says in the Bible, that if you do not forgive people their sins, God will not forgive you yours. And I think that's a pretty um, acceptable deal, you know. It's, you know, we, we've got to find it in our hearts to forgive people because forgiveness, it puts you in chains. It puts you in shackles. You know, forgiveness puts bitterness in your heart, you know, and no bitterness or resentment is allowed into heaven. You know, it's just another form of sin. You know, so this is, um, it's really important stuff. But remember, it's, it's, it's good news. It's good news because guess what? Jesus has already taken the punishment for you upon the cross. He's already taken the, the penalty for all of your sin. You know, so you can go free if you just repent. Be baptized, but born again of water and the Spirit. You can go free, not guilty, free of all charge from all sin, and receive the gift of eternal life after this lifetime. So that you know when you leave this physical body, you will live forever with Jesus in heaven. You know, and your soul will not be taken down to the pit of hell with Satan. You know, it's a fate that none of us want. You know, so so this is the the the, um, the sacrifice that Jesus made for you. You know, God sacrificed His own Son. You know, Jesus Christ. He is God. You know, He was incarnated in the physical body. He died on that cross for you. His blood was shed for you. His His flesh was beaten for you. You know, and that was the punishment taken for you guys. All you have to do is repent, humble yourselves, repent for your sins, you know. Be honest with yourself, be honest with yourself. Have you ever told a lie? You know, well if you have, what do we call people that tell lies? We call them liars. If you've ever stolen one penny sweet, no matter how small it is, what do we call people that steal? We call them thieves, you know. So we all stand guilty, we've all done these little things. I'm sure many of you have used the name of Jesus as, as a curse word, you know, using foul language, all of these things. So in front of God, we all stand guilty. None of us are righteous. None of us are good. We've got to get over this good or bad thing. None of us are good. You know, in front of God, we all stand condemned already. You know, every, every man is required to repent no matter how good or bad you think you are, you know. 
It's not about being good or bad. It's about obeying the gospel. It's about getting saved. It's about having your name written in the book of life and coming into relationship with Jesus Christ. You know, th this is this is the thing. You know, we, we've got to get over uh, that 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 whole good and bad thing and ex understand that it's about relationship with God and being saved. Now, one thing I always like to do when I come out is to is to read from the Bible. I always like to go through the full gospel, and I'm going to do that again today. Um, just for a chance for everybody to hear it and uh, maybe go into that and explain it a little bit more as well. Uh, but just to set the scene here, now during time, the time of Jesus being on the earth, he was um, obviously going around, he was raising the dead out of the graves, he was healing the lepers, he was doing all kinds of amazing miracles and um, there was a group of people called the Pharisees well, they were the religious leaders at the time they were the preachers of the, of the law of Moses very hypocritical people very judgmental and again very religious you know which is what Jesus came to break the shackles of was, was that religion you know that religion spirit <clears throat> but there was one guy his name was Nicodemus he had more of a humility to him and um, he, could, he could see that Jesus was doing all these amazing things and so he decided to come together with Jesus for a private meeting away from everybody else so Jesus could talk to him, explain to him the gospel and, and explain the, the truths and the mysteries of, um, of the gospel. So, so this is the conversation that they had. This is taken from the book of John, chapter 3, verses 1 through 21. And the conversation went like this. Now there was a Pharisee, a man named Nicodemus, who was a member of the Jewish ruling council. He came to Jesus at night and said, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform these signs you are doing if God were not with him. Jesus replied, Very truly I tell you, no one can see the kingdom of God unless they're born again. Well, how can someone be born when they're old? Nicodemus asked. Surely they cannot enter a second time into their mother's womb and be born. Jesus answered, Very truly I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to Spirit. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes, you hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it's going. So is everybody who is born of the Spirit. When Nicodemus said to him, Well, how can these things be? Jesus said to him, You are the teacher of Israel, and you do not know these things. Very truly, I tell you, we speak with what we know, and we testify on what we have seen, but still you people do not accept our testimony. If I have spoken to you of earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you heavenly things? No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses lifted up the, as, just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son in the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only begotten Son. And this is the verdict. That a light has come into the world, but people love darkness instead of light, because their deeds were evil. Everyone who does evil hates the light, and will not come into the light, for fear that their deeds will be exposed. But whoever lives by the truth comes into the light, so that it may be plain, seen plainly that what they have been done, has been done in God. So that there is from the book of John, the full gospel. Jesus, very, very clear, very clear that you must be born again to enter the kingdom of heaven not just become religious you must be born of water and the spirit the new birth by God himself that you become a child of God that you become um, adopted from this kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of light that you get set free from, from the bondage and the chains of sin and death and that you receive the gift of eternal life knowing that when you leave this physical lifetime that you will live for eternity with God you know, so it was it was the ultimate sacrifice on the cross for all of you, for every single one of you, you know, and Jesus did that as an act of love, because he loves every single one of you. 
You know, we're all created in His image. You know, we, we are wonderful, am amazing creatures. You know, when, you know, just think about how individually this person is. You know, God created you in His image. You know, and he, and he wants that real relationship with you. He wants to know you personally. You know, so it really is um, yeah, a complete open opportunity to every single person. You know, and I'm calling, I'm calling out to everybody, not just here in Kalani, but around the world, no matter where you're from. You know, Jesus is calling out to everybody. And we really are living in the end times, guys. You know, time is critical. You know, we must make a choice. You can either choose Jesus and the truth, or you can choose the ways of this world. Okay, that's that's the only choice we've got. And I, and I remember a few years ago, God even gave me a vision of that. I saw a huge, a huge separation of the people of the planet Earth. Some would choose the truth and choose Jesus. Some would choose the, the, the lie and choose uh, the, the world and Satan's ways. You know, so it's so important to make that right decision. You know, to choose Jesus while you can, because we never know in this physical lifetime, any second could be your last second. You know, and we, it's, it's, we literally must repent while we're in the physical body. Once we go to the grave, it's too late to repent. There's no redemption left. You know, so that, that ultimately that is um, your fate will be eternal separation from God, which is ultimately hell, and none of us want that. And guys, you know, I, I know for a fact that heaven and hell are real places. You know, and, and I know for a fact there's a war on for the ownership of your soul. You know, be, be, behind the eyes, behind the eyes, behind the eyes of each person, or whatever it is, there's a spiritual entity working. You know, there's a spiritual war. You know, and, and these, these these demons are warring for the ownership of your soul. You know, so so be warned and, and be aware. You know. Once we, once we come to Christ, once we come to Jesus, He can come into our life and He can start a good work in us. You know, He can, he can, he can rebuild us, reshape us, remold us from the inside out. You know, building, building us more and more up in, in His image every day. You know, coming to know Him every day. You know, He comes into our lives, He sanctifies us, He purifies us. It's only by the shedding of His blood that we are made righteous. You know, and if we, once we come to, um, once we start to walk with Jesus as a disciple, you know, he, he ultimately will lead you to salvation. You know, it's not through any of your own works or any of your own good deeds. You know, it's, it's his work within you. You know, we ultimately, we, we, we give up our life and we follow Jesus to salvation, you know. I don't know many, many people that have um, got, gone on this path, you know, and I, and I really do pray that for, for all of you as well. Um, so um, yeah, I kind of just want to leave, leave this here for now. Um, what I will say is, if anybody would like to come over and, and chat or, or pray or um, talk about the gospel or anything else, please come over and speak to us. If you want us to pray for you, no problem at all. And um, yeah, I just want to say that God, God truly, truly loves all of you. But remember, you know, repentance, it's time to repent. We must repent, guys. But it requires that all men repent. So please, please keep that in mind. So thank you for listening as well. And uh, have a great day. And uh, God bless you.